Welcome to the monthly AP Telecom expert video series, joined alongside the co-founder and CEO of AP Telecom, Eric Panda. Eric, thanks for coming on today. Matt, it's good to see you. Good to be back here in the summer in the city in New York. Soho, New York. Living the dream with you, man. <laughs> uh, so hey, the, the focus of today's uh, session for our audience, we're literally sitting here at the midway point of 2016. I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to get some insights from you on how the first half of 2016 went for the uh, the subsea and the telecom space as a whole, and then some insights into what to expect for the second half of the year. Um, so just to kick off, Eric, why don't you just give our audience just an overall state of the state of the subsea industry as you see it the first six months into 2016. So AP Telecom's had a fairly strong first six months of 2016. We, we just had, uh, here in the United States, uh, for folks that are watching this uh, outside the U.S., just had the 4th of July break. and. Uh, uh, we've had four clients go contract in force. Uh, we've had two clients actually get systems built in the last six months. So for us, uh, it's been a tremendous uh, first half of the year. Uh, from a trend perspective, we're starting to see a migration from 10 gig technology off the interface cards to 100 gig. So price points are actually going up because we're selling 100 gig technology versus selling 10, 10 gig technology. The multiple is about roughly about 6.5 from the 10 g to 100 g uh, from a client perspective, we continue to see acquisition of new clients in uh, markets like uh, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, South America, uh, and for AP Telecom, we continue to work with our partners such as yourself, North Six, Ocean Specialists, OSI. Uh, we're working closely with the team, with Tom Soja and Jim Bias, uh, on various projects around the world from Angola to South America to Bangladesh to Guam. Uh, we've got some stuff cooking in uh, Northeast Asia as well as uh, ASEAN. So things are good. Uh, it's just um, really head down focused, uh, continue to do our client touch points, make sure that we have happy clients and maintain their their trust in us because uh, it's something we take very seriously every day. That's phenomenal. Um, Eric, what are some of the key trends you're expecting to see in the subsea industry uh, heading into the second half of 2016? Well, I think Brexit, the Brexit vote has created a certain amount of instability in the financial markets for debt financing and equity financing. Uh, so some of our clients that are in the process of raising capital um, are going to uh, need to really shore up their business plans, to shore up their pre-sale commitments, their offtake agreements with AP Telecom's help. Uh, that, that remains a, a key trend that we're going to see in the second half of this year. Uh, the other uh, uh, very uh, uh, encouraging news is that we have uh, two new systems that are going to go in the water this year. Uh, the Malaysia, Cambodia, Thailand MCT system and our customer in Southeast Asia and Cambodia in Phnom Penh uh, EasyCom, uh, their system will be built. Uh, that'll be the first system for the nation of Cambodia that uh, is, uh, is a subsea system that's uh, uh, independent of China or independent of Vietnam or Thailand for them. So that's, uh, I think, a very proud moment for the country. What, when um, is that expected to be? Uh, it's the latter, latter half of this year, uh, end of November, early wow. December. So that's, uh, that's imminent. So we're obviously very excited for them. And we've had a, uh, a key role supporting that system in terms of off-tape agreements to enable the debt financing. Um, that they were able to secure from, from their banks um, in Southeast Asia. And the last trend uh, that we see in the market is it's vitally important for um, value to be added uh, in the market where any new systems being built to buy at the right price, the best cost possible on a per kilometer basis to make sure you're deploying the latest technology and you're really driving uh, unit pricing to the most achievable economic scale, the lowest per unit cost sure. for your customers. That's what our customers and customers are looking for and our customers are looking for. So we're really cost focused in terms of ways to monetize and optimize costs. That's great. Eric, I know you hinted at this in the, in the last question, but just any specific markets or systems or builds rather um, that our viewers you feel should be watching with an extra careful eye over the next six months? Uh, Atissa, which is a new system connecting Guam to Saipan, it's a very regional system, uh, but it's the westernmost territory of the United States, Guam and Micronesia. That's a new system that NTG Docomo Pacific in, in Agana and Guam is going ahead with. Uh, I mentioned EasyCom, the MCT system, a few moments ago. Uh, our anchor client, Angola Cables, is connecting uh, West Africa to uh, South America to Brazil. That's going to be the first system ever on the Southern Hemisphere across the South Atlantic. That's contract in force. There's so a lot of good things happening in the subsea space. Um, and AP Telecom is just really proud to be associated with that. I know that the, the North Six team is building out a new website for us yep. in, in yeah. August. And hopefully that's going to reflect some of our successes over the last sure. half decade that we're in the process of, uh, of doing. And uh, 
Uh, you know, we like to call the summer months championship months to make sure you're really meticulously planning ahead and going ahead and doing everything that you need to, to add value to position you for that uh, run up to September all the way through through uh, the end of the year through December. So sure. just uh, really focus on our, our, uh, our goals and uh, head down and uh, just sure. working hard. Well, running, uh, running AP Telecom, Eric, over the next six months, what is going to be your strategic focus when you look at the AP Telecom business and what your team is going to really be laser focused on? So uh, AP Telecom will be visiting some of our clients around the world. Uh, we have a uh, very, very hard trip uh, to Hawaii in, uh, in September. <laughs> yes. um, but that, that's a time to really sit down with our client, Hawaii Telecom, uh, that has been invaluable on the Southeast Asia cable build. Uh, that commercialization program has been uh, tremendously successful. Hawaii Telecom's recovered uh, almost 100%, if not more, of their CapEx of 30 million invested in a project, and we played a key role for that. Um, we're also going to be speaking at Submarine Network World sure. Conference, SNW, again, Submarine Network World Conference and Spectrum Futures Conference in Singapore in October. Yep. Uh, so I'll be speaking and uh, fellow uh, co-founder Sean Bergen will be speaking at both of those events. And that's a great opportunity for us to uh, see our clients from all over the world will be converging in Singapore, uh, talking about some of the new systems. So we're really excited about that. Uh, and we have some uh, state of subsea initiatives planned for our charitable donations that we continue to do as part of our 2020 uh, vision uh, goal uh, statement in terms of giving back in the markets in which we operate. Yeah. And uh, on the whole, uh, it's just uh, really focused, again, as I mentioned, in terms of what our key KPIs are, our objectives for, for driving the business. Sure. Well, Eric, congratulations on a phenomenal uh, first half of 2016. Thank and you, man. to an even better second Thanks. Half. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eric. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.